the software that I use every day to be creative, edit videos, and pay the bills is Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to jump into it and show you all about the interface and how it works so that you can more efficiently use the program, if that's the one you're using. Once your program loads, you are presented with this splash screen and you've got a few options, old projects that you might be working on here, uh, home, which is what we're on. You have a learn section that gives you some tutorials that you can watch if you need to learn something that they've got. Sync settings to sync all of your different presets and stuff. You can open a project, you can open a Premiere Rush project, and you can create a new project. So we're gonna start by creating a brand new project from scratch. So hit new project. This is going to be the name of your project. I'm going to call it Basics of Premiere Pro. And you'll have a location option. So I'm going to browse to the proper location. For me, I'm going to put it in my folder here called Tutorials, Projects, Premiere, and select that folder. And Basics of Premiere Pro is going to be there. I have a CUDA card on here, and I'm going to select CUDA card to just give me some extra processing power. And this shows you your time code, audio, sample format, your capture device, all of that stuff. You can also set your scratch disk. I usually have been setting it to the same folder as my project file. Another recommendation is if you have a solid state local drive, mine's a network drive, write all of your scratch stuff, such as your video previews, audio previews, all of that, write that to your fast drive. And then ingest settings if you want to set proxies, which is a whole nother video. For now, we're going to keep it the way it is. Click OK, and your project loads. So once this loads, you'll see this screen, everything will be blank. The first thing to note is you've got a few things. Home is basically your main page that we saw, the splash screen. You've got your typical menu items up top, and then you've got these fun little profile presets or workspaces as Adobe calls them. Uh, and you've got learning, which is going to be your tutorials. Assembly is if you're just piecing things together, color, editing, effects, audio. Uh, but we're going to stick with edit editing in this video. You've got your entire workspace set up in a very simple way. So you've got your source window, which is going to be all of your raw footage that you can preview before you edit it into your sequence or your timeline. Program is your window that shows what your timeline or your edit is going to look like. The project window is where all of your footage and files and sequences, this is where your files are organized. This is your browser window for Premiere. You've got your tools, which is all the tools that you'll use when you're editing your project. Lastly, almost, is your timeline. This is where you edit your video. And audio meters tell you how high or low or if they're peaking or whatever your audio is in your project. To get a little bit further into it, in your source window, you usually have a few other options. It defaults to having your effects controls, so if you need to move the position of a clip or the uh, opacity or the scale, the, all that information will be there. Audio clip mixer is audio adjustments you can apply to a single clip. And metadata is if you're going to label it different things, such as uh, your take or if the shot is good and all of that sort of, sort of stuff. So then you move down to your project window, and this also has some additional features. A media browser. This is like Premiere's internal file browser system. It's like your Finder window or Windows Explorer within Premiere Pro, and it's how you can pull 
assets into your project without ever having to leave it. And that's very useful in, very, in certain situations. Libraries is something that Adobe has allowed you to do, which allows you to create these libraries that sync across all of your different systems where you're logged in. Another useful tool. I use it all the time when I'm doing something like this, YouTube, and it's got my motion graphics templates, colors that I use a lot, uh, any sort of logos, all that sort of thing. Then info just tells you the info of the clip. It's probably not all that necessary unless you need to know that for some reason. And the effects panel, which is going to have video transitions like dissolves and pushes and zooms. Video effects are another thing you might see is like uh, color correction presets, uh, keen noise control, image control, all that sort of stuff. And then on top of that, you've got your audio transitions, which would be like a crossfade. And audio effects is going to be like echoes or amplification or pan left, pan right, or uh, de all of your audio effects. And then the Lumetri presets are color presets that you can apply directly to your footage. And then there's additional presets that they have, like picture-in-picture, -picture, mosaic, lens distortion removals, all that fun stuff. Lastly are markers and your histories, your undo history. And there you go. That is the basics of the Adobe Premiere Pro interface. I hope that you find that helpful and useful. If you want to find out all you can about Adobe Premiere Pro, I have set up a playlist with all of my tips, tricks, super simple, Adobe Premiere Pro editing techniques. So that will constantly be added to as I share more information. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all the things. And uh, yeah, let's make some movies together.